and welcome to episodes five and six of Shawnee's home court and today um kiana comes up with the idea for the family to basically unplug from all their electronics and go camping now the weird thing to me about this is kiana <laughs> suggests the idea but she's not going with them camping. She said, I don't even know where my phone is. And the fact that I don't care, let me know. I don't even need to go camping with y'all. So, hey, I, I'm not going, but y'all need to go. Because these kids need to unplug. They can't go without their phones. They don't hear nothing you be saying. So, of course, that's what Shani does. Um, that um, Cher, Sherif, that's his name. He going to stay at home and study for the SATs. Um... So the rest of them are gonna go out and do this camping trip. But anyway, so outside of all of this, Shawnee thinks that Kiana needs to start dating again, despite having a crazy girlfriend that tried to stab her and whatnot. She needs to get back out in the um, dating field. And she just happens to know a friend that she kind of wants to hook up with somebody. And why not Kiana? So she feel like she in the blind date business. And so she hooks up Kiana with a, a beautiful girl. But um, the kids, she 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 lets Miles and Ke who who did she send out? Miles and Kiana out to get the stuff for camping. Now all the fancy camping stuff they got out. Like even when we went camping, we got the five people deluxe tent that got the front porch on it. You can fold it back, have a little sunroof. They gonna go out here and get some um, Grand Theft Auto type camping stuff. Where if you ever played GTA, then you know what I'm talking about. Where you gotta go out here and put up the uh, military tents and all this kind of stuff and have canteens and use the sun to light stuff instead of getting a lighter. They was trying to do the most, way too much. She said to unplug, not to just rough it. She said, we going out, we just gonna go camping. She didn't say, let's just go roughing it period like not have nothing like, we living off the land she said camping y'all could have rented a motorhome y'all could have um got deluxe tents with the air mattresses in there man it wasn't even that serious y'all could have a cooler full of doggone ham and cheese fermented cheese some lunchables uh, some water some soda pots y'all was trying to do too much and i feel like that was just staged for the cameras because it didn't make no sense they, it didn't have to be that brutal but anyway so they get out there and of course it was hard dry ass ground they was miserable <laughs> the kids done tried to come up with a dog on lie like an animal tried to attack them to get out of the woods and Shakir and the girls said okay well we gonna go check out the rest of the campground and see what we can find to do cause you know they out of campsite they just went out in the wilderness they was at an actual like park so they go out and adventure around the camping park and they found the side of the park that contains all the cabins and whatnot. and they done roll back on the golf cart and pick Shani and Miles up and they like mm -mm, we going back to, uh, to this cabin and chill out so that pretty much well did that. They was already mad at Shani anyway because she still had her phone and her excuse for having her phone was to take care of business and keep a check on Kiana. So Kiana's date went good at first. She was like, I hope this her be over. I got to go watch Love and Hip Hop. She's so stupid. But um, the date went good. So maybe they'll get a second. We don't know. You know, you got to watch the show and see. So that was pretty much well. Episode 6, Shawnee's sitting there and the doorbell keep ringing. She realized all the kids done ordered food out. They want to eat out. Everybody eating out and whatnot and what have, <laughs> what have you. And she like, you know what? This don't make no sense for everybody to be eating out like this. Um, we need to do something about this because we can't keep going on at this uh, pace or whatever. So she wants to have a family dinner. And her son Shakir, who has Jewish friends, he suggested... Uh, a Shabbat which Shani takes thinks um she he tells her what a Shabbat is which is like a family dinner uh, uh 
that the Jewish have, and they say this Jewish prayer and blessed food or whatever. He just educates Shawnee about what it is and what have you. So they, she says, okay, good. We can have family dinner. We're going to do this or whatever. So she go about, you know, learning about <laughs> what to get and what to eat and what not. And basically the man at the market tell her, you know, it's Shabbat. It's just, all it is, is a kosher um, meal with the proper prayer. And the kosher meal is just, kosher is when you have to, the meal has to be prepared according to the regulations of the Jewish the Jewish law. As long as it's pre prepared in that way, then the meal is kosher and you can have a Shabbat and you have the family there and somebody has to say the prayer or whatnot. And of course, she had Shakir to say the prayer, and he couldn't pronounce all the words. You can tell that for real, Shani wasn't comfortable there because she didn't want to really necessarily make a mockery of it. She really wanted it to be right and be traditional. But anyway, Shani, Mama gonna say if you can't pronounce it, I ain't saying it. I'm with her. You ain't gonna have me uh, praise or something. I don't know what I'm saying. But anyway, it turned out good. They had a, a Shabbat fish fry that was supposed to be prepared according to the kosher. Um, they're supposed to be praying in a kosher way, whatever. They did good, but doing all of this, Miles in the family mood, he want to take a family photo. So Shani already done told him she already know how he is, so she need to approve what he do because she know how how he likes to get real arts and whatever. Sure enough, he gonna go pick out some ugly, ugly stuff. Got Shani in a t-shirt dress, come to her cast with a, a girl on it, sniffing out of a crack pot out of a beaker over a fire and he thought this was art with a junkyard thing boy if you don't get on down there to the store and y'all put on some regular clothes and get in front of a pretty background take a new family picture and whatnot but anyway shawnee wouldn't approve and pay for the bs so he ended up telling everybody to dress in denim they took a family picture the picture was great it turned out good and everybody was freaking happy, which is what he should have done in the first place. So that's pretty much well a roundup of Shawnee's two shows put together. Y'all need to check them out if y'all not watching them. I think that the shows are really funny. We need some uplifting and funny, especially after suffering through basketball wife. Um, so that's it. Stick around because I have another review coming up.